This is the castle of Bergamo in the Principality of Bergamo in southeastern Europe. The year is 1861. This is the castle's ancestral gallery. Every night, old Luigi bids good night to his dead masters, who through the centuries ruled from this castle in peace and war, mostly in war, for small Bergamo holds a strategically important position on the road to Rome. There in the background is Count Giovanni, a famous poet in his time. Next, Countess Isabella. This is Count Dominic. This is Orlando. And this is Count Alberto, the great, 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 great grandfather of the presently ruling Countess Angelina. His wife, Francesca, called the Lady in Ermine, saved the castle 300 years ago from a mighty conqueror in a moment of danger. But tonight, Francesca is happy, for her great, 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 great granddaughter, Angelina, will be married tomorrow. This is Angelina, ruling Countess of Bergamo, great, 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 great granddaughter of the Lady in Ermine. It was a beautiful ceremony, wasn't it? Yes, very. And the devotion of the people, it was touching. They all seemed so happy. They were taking to you, I could feel it. It's strange. One can be prepared, and yet when it happens... Well, I, I've known all these years that when a simple baron marries into a family of sovereign lineage, it... Darling, it was just a formality. Yes, I know it. And yet when I had to kneel before you, and you crossed the sword over my head, and you raised me to the rank of a Count of Bergamo, it was a feeling of... <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll get over it. I'll tell you how I felt at the same moment. Just as I was about to make you a Bergamo, do you realize how heavy that big ancestral sword is? I was so frightened. If that sword had fallen on your head, you never would have found out that you had become a Bergamo. And I would have been a widow before I became a wife. But, darling, the sword didn't fall. And here we are. One Bergamo and another Bergamo. Oh, darling, try to understand. When you put the ring on my finger, it suddenly dawned on me that you were really going to be the Count. And frankly, I don't think I'll be very happy as a Countess. But, darling... Oh, when he asked me to promise to obey, I, I could have killed that Mayor of Bergamo. Do you remember when we were children? You were nine years old and our parents pledged us in marriage. And after we had promised to obey that pledge, I stuck out my tongue at you and you pushed me into the flower bed? Well... I... Darling, if you ever doubt that you were the master, Take me in the garden. The flower bed is still there. Thank you, Angelina. Oh, Mario, I want this to be a glorious marriage with quarrels and making up, with tears and kisses, always something happening. I want to be a good wife, not only because it's right, but because I once read a book, or maybe I heard it, that when you fall in love, somewhere or somehow, you hear the sound of a flute way off in the distance. Well, we can do much better. I'll get a whole orchestra right under your window. How does that sound, huh? <laughs> I ask for so little and you, you offer me so much. That's my nature. What's that? I didn't order a salute. And I gave strict orders against it with the firing line so close it might cause a turmoil. <laughs> What is it? The enemy. They've broken through our lines. The Hungarian hussars are on their way to the castle. Oh, my dear Countess, I carried you in my arms when you were a baby. Those soldiers are ours. 
Our troops retreating from Hungarians. I gave everybody downstairs instruction how to behave. I told them not to call those Hungarians Hungarians. Why should one provoke people? Tell my orderly to have the horses ready. Yes, sir. The thought that you'll be at the mercy of that Hungarian colonel, that dreadful man striding into this castle and ordering you around. No. No, no. No, 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 no. No. I'm not going. I'll stay here and protect you. They'll take you prisoner. I'll disguise myself. I'll hide you, darling. I'll do everything in my power. Of course, if they catch me, they'll shoot me. Shoot you? Huh, let them shoot me. I'm not afraid. I'm a good target. Oh, Mario, do whatever you think is best and forget about me. You don't want me to stay, do you? I'd love you to stay. It would be only too wonderful if you could. Of course, I realize I have to go, and immediately. What a wedding night. What an unfortunate wedding night. But you'll come back. And then it'll be at the head of your troops, taking the castle by storm. Yes, you'll come back, not only as a Bergamo, but as the conqueror of Bergamo. And I'll be in the entrance hall, waiting for you, your prize captive. The threat to the castle of Bergamo was also heard in the ancestors' gallery. Somebody get her. Maybe she's here. Maybe she's there. Stop. Look. A letter. A letter? What does it say? What does it say? Right away. Don't delay. What does it say? We'll be back in an hour. Have gone to the tower. We can't wait an hour. We can't wait an hour. The tower, the tower, the tower, the tower, the tower, the tower. The tower, the tower, the tower. Francesca. Francesca. At last. Save the castle as you did in the past. You heroes. What do you see? What do you see? Nothing. She sees nothing. Simply nothing. Wait. I see something. She sees something. And is he something? He looks like he stopped at nothing. She sees something that would stop at nothing. He's a captain. A captain? No, a colonel. A colonel. And he's so young to rank so high. He must be a great fighter. But so am I. Ooh, what I'll do to that wild Hungarian. Hungarian! Ooh, what I'll do to that wild barbarian. Hungarian! I'll that vandal with weapons of my own. I'll haunt him, I'll taunt him, and when I get him where I want him, ooh, what I'll do to that wild Hungarian. Hungarian. Ooh, what I'll do to those eyes. He'll get a little surprise. I'll trip him, I'll trap him, I'll pinch him, I'll slap him, I'll teach him maneuvers that are new. Let him come, let him come, and do what I'll do. It's one. 
Sir, all your orders have been carried out. That is the Countess Francesca, 1537 to 1578. I like her best of all the ancestors. She even smiles at me. Oh, naturally, I can't see it, but one can feel when one is light. Over! Yes, sir. I want you to hammer into the heads of the men that this is not a vacation from war. Yes, sir. If I find the slightest... What is the matter with her? She has her coat on and her shoes off. This woman doesn't make sense. <laughs> she certainly doesn't, sir. What woman does? Do we want them to make sense? Believe me, sir, there's a reason for everything in that picture. Hold on! Yes, sir. If I find the slightest lessening of discipline, I'll throw them out of their soft beds and they'll sleep in the mud again. Yes, sir. Hold on! Yes, sir. What are these women dressed up for? Hush. Hush. To welcome you, sir. That's the way we do in Bergamo. What is your name? Luigi, sir. Luigi. I was born in this castle. My father was born here, too. And your grandfather, too? Yes, sir, that's right. Watch him, Horvath. Keep your eye on him. Yes, sir. Who is the master of this house? Angelina, Countess of Bergamo, sir. Where is she? Why isn't she here to receive me? Well, I... Well, sir, I think the Countess probably didn't expect you... Keep quiet. Me. Thank you, sir. I don't want this Countess to throw roses at my feet, but I... I wanted to know that there's somebody new in command in this castle. Bring her down immediately. Yes, sir. Now, see here, you charming ladies of Bergamo, I think we should have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. I saw you looking at my hussars, and I know what you're thinking. But if I catch any of you with my men, I... Attention! Now, listen. You stupid sons of the windswept Hungarian steppes. You're so stupid that if you don't watch out, these women will steal your horses right out from under your saddles. Don't give them any information. Dismiss them. Dismissed! Good night. Novak. Yes, sir. Looks like we lost Horvath. Yes, sir. I want them down here in one minute. Yes, sir. And I don't care if Horvath carries the Countess or the Countess carries Horvath. Yes, sir. And Novak. Yes, sir. Don't forget to come back yourself. No, sir.
composition isn't right. But you play it beautifully, sir. Oh, indeed, beautiful. yes. No, no, beautiful. No, 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 no. The composition of the painting, the painting in the hall. What was in the painter's mind? Why, why did he cover her shoulders and reveal her feet? Strikes me as a décolleté in a very peculiar place. Where is she? Well, I spoke with her personal maid. Where is she? Unfortunately, the Countess had already retired and did not wish to be disturbed. I see. I'll have to handle this Countess myself. And I'm going to. As for you, how dare you bring me such a ridiculous message? And not even from the Countess herself. You half-witted huzzah. You've been sitting on a horse so long that even your brains have become bow-legged. Yes, sir. I beg your pardon, sir. What do you want? I'm sorry, sir, but the Countess has asked me to explain to you that there are strange echoes in this castle. And by the time the echoes have carried you to the second floor, your voice, which uh, by itself might not be offensive... <laughs> she moved! Who moved? The, the, the lady in ermine. I saw it with my own eyes. What's the matter with you? Go back where you belong. Go to bed. I, yes, Colonel. Hold on! Yes. Everybody's crazy around here. Yes. That's all. Thank you, sir. Let's look at the horses. Good morning, gentlemen.
I see you're looking at my ancestor, a very interesting woman. Some people think we look alike. Well, perhaps we do. I'm so happy to make your acquaintance, Colonel. Oh, I'm afraid that I will. May I introduce the Colonel? Oh, so you're the Colonel. How do you do? How do you do? I'm so sorry I was unable to greet you last night, but your arrival was a bit late. Oh, by the way, there's one person I simply must meet. Horvath. Horvath? Yes! May I present Major Horvath, the Countess of Bergamo. So you're Horvath, Major Horvath. How do you do? You seem to be quite popular, apparently very much in demand. Isn't he, Colonel? Uh, Countess, there are several matters I'd like to discuss with you as soon as possible. Well, Tuesday is always such a busy day. This is Wednesday. Wednesday? That's even worse. I'm sorry, I have to see you. Well, perhaps that can be arranged. Now, let me think. I'll see you right now. I'll join you later. Please. Now, Countess, I... Please sit down, Colonel. Uh, Countess, unfortunately, this is war. Please, Colonel, there is nothing to be embarrassed about. I realize, of course, that you didn't come here of your own volition. You were just sent here by a higher authority, and there is nothing you can do about it. So please, no apologies, Colonel. I want you to feel completely at ease. I've already told my people to make everything as comfortable as possible for you and your men. And if you have any complaints, don't hesitate. Just talk to Luigi. And I'm quite sure Countess, that... may I make a suggestion? Why don't you keep quiet? Thank you. Well, it may take me a little while to get accustomed to the way one talks to a prisoner of war. Prisoner of war? No, no, no. There's nothing to do with it. I, that's just the way I talk to a woman who talks too much. Have you ever been slapped in the face? Many times. And I take it very well. Once in Madagascar, I ask for more. Sit down. As I was trying to say, this is war, grim war. Men are shooting and other men are shooting back. Yes, sir. Technically, you are an enemy. I will have to restrict your freedom of movement. Thank you, sir. May I go now? There are just a few more questions I'd like to ask for security reasons. You are the ruling countess? Yes, sir. Born here? Yes, sir. By the way, are you married? Is this also for security reasons? It might be. I am married. I love my husband. I am a good wife and always will be a good wife. I hope that makes you feel secure. How long have you been married? Since last night. Last night? Yes, last night. Well, 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 congratulations. Thank you. Where's the happy bridegroom? I'd like to see him. So would I, very much so. This, this is not very easy to grasp, but nevertheless, I, I, I would like to grasp it. When I stood in front of your door last night, did he... He had already gone back to his regiment. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I spoil your honeymoon? I'd rather not discuss it. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sure I didn't help it. Oh, Countess, if only I would have known. I would have postponed this attack a few days, or at least a few hours. I, would... I hardly think there can be any more questions, Colonel. Uh, by the way, what, um, what made your husband leave? Not fear of you. Oh, no, 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 I'm sure not. When he made his decision, I'm sure he was guided by a passionate love for his country and nothing else. You're quite right. And yet, Countess, sometimes love and war go beautifully together. Very beautifully. I always thought it so romantic that Napoleon wrote his greatest love letters to Josephine in the heat of battle. I love you, Josephine. And the bullets flying around and around. Yes, and when Mark Antony learned that Caesar was approaching, did he free himself from the arms of Cleopatra? Oh, he not only remained in the same palace, he stayed in the same embrace. Historically, you are speaking complete nonsense. The fact remains that he ran away. He left. Oh, Countess, people in love don't leave each other just because a few shots are fired. If two lovers are caught in the rain, do they part just because a few drops sprinkle down from heaven? If one is in love, one doesn't need an umbrella. No, Countess, no umbrella. Why, you impudent, conceited, and impertinent creature. Why do I tolerate all this? I love your great-great-grandmother. I loved her from the moment I entered this castle. What's that?
Just target practice. No one was shot. No spy. No husband. Thank you. Countess, I don't know anything about your husband. But when those shots were fired and I saw that look in your face, is he really that wonderful? Yes, he is. I can see him in front of me. Very strong, very brave, very brilliant. And very lucky. I congratulate you again. Oh, Countess. If I had lived in your grandmother's day, do you think she would have dined with me? She might have. She was rather daring. Yes, she is wonderful, magnificent, inspiring. I never thought a painting could make such a deep impression on me. Yes, it, it's a very fine portrait. Oh, it's much more. You know, Countess, sometimes I feel she smiles at me, that she's taken a liking to me. But I, I don't imagine that that's hereditary, is it? Uh, I wouldn't know. They say I inherited her looks. And that's all. Well, congratulations, anyway. More coffee, sir. A fresh glass of wine. No. Don't go, Luigi. You seem sad, sir. And I think I know the reason. I don't blame you. She's the loveliest girl in the world. Tell me about her, Luigi. Tell me everything. Well, sir, she was born more than 300 years ago. It was on the 22nd of June that she made her gallant decision. The castle was doomed, surrounded by the troops of the Duke of Ravenna. Just as you, sir, are gentle and kind of heart, he was severe and terrifying. A brute, sir, a tyrant. His own men trembled at the sound of his voice. And he was even more dangerous in silence when he paced back and forth in his tent. How long have I been looking at that castle of Bergamo? Almost three weeks, Your Grace. Spoiling my view. I want it destroyed at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. I vowed to myself that everything would be wiped out. Except that little dog. I know, Your Grace, the one that comes out of the gate every evening. I love that little dog. Yes, Your Grace. <laughs> why am I men laughing? Did I say something amusing today? No, Your Grace. Well, then why do they laugh? my sword to my conqueror. All I ask your grace is to spare Bergamo and its people. If this doesn't move you, take me. I offer myself for what I'm worth. Let me be your slave. Let me be your court jester. Permit me to make you laugh. I can be very funny. Benvenuto! Yes, your grace. Tell him to be funny. Yes, Your Grace. Be funny. 
Well, I usually sing a song at the round table. My knights think it's hilarious. Oh, the donkey kicked the king. Ha, ha, the donkey kicked the king. I was there and I know where the donkey kicked the king. Ho, ho. Did he kick him in the palace? No, no, no. Did he kick him in the garden? No, no, no. He kicked him. He <laughs> this is where my knights always scream with laughter. As a matter of fact, they laugh so much that I never get any further. <laughs> Benvenuto! Yes, Your Grace. After we have destroyed the castle, I want my portrait painted standing on its ruins. That's all. Where did he kick him? He kicked him in the courtyard. Get out of here. <laughs> Francesca. Francesca! Where are you going? I only want to try where you failed. Oh, it's no use. He'll only sneer at your noble efforts as he sneered at mine. He's not our kind, Francesca. I know it, Alberto. And yet, were you awakened the warrior in him, I might be able to get under his armor and touch his heart. Oh, Alberto, I don't want you to die. I really don't. You must live by all means. You devoted good woman. Oh, I know I shouldn't let you go. I... Why the ermine coat? To uphold the dignity of the Bergamos. I wish my father could have heard that. You splendid woman. Splendid, splendid. I... But, Francesca, your feet are bare. To show my humility. You came with a sword. I come with my feet. It's a deep thought. It's deep, Francesca. Very deep. Oh, I shouldn't let you go. I really shouldn't. Goodbye, Alberto. Goodbye, Francesca. <laughs> going to kill her. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, you don't know him, and you don't know her. If she talks to him the way she sometimes talks to me, he's going to kill her. Benvenuto. Yes, Your Grace. Siege is lifted. The people of Bergamo are free. Escort the Countess back to the castle.
here. She had killed him with his own dagger. Killed the man who had fallen in love with her. Some people say she did it because he was the enemy. Some say she was afraid of herself, for she too was falling in love. Still others claim that she killed him because she couldn't bear the thought of any other woman putting her arms around him. But that's a lie, sir. A malicious lie. Don't you believe it? I won't, Luigi. Don't worry, it's a beautiful legend. It's no legend, sir. It's true. Every word of it. I'm sure it is, Luigi. What great days those were. Filled with excitement, love, and death. Luigi, the Duke was a very lucky man. At least he wasn't ignored. Good night, Luigi. Good night, sir. I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to see you. A gypsy caravan came along, and instantly I realized this was my chance. So I went to the general. Well, you know what the general thinks of me. He gave me permission right away. I'm so glad the general did. My bride. Now, tell me everything. Every detail, everything about that colonel. Oh, Mario, I wish you would leave. How I hate that man. What has he done? Well, nothing in particular, nothing I can put my finger on. But his mere presence is unendurable. Well, what did he do? What did he say? He is the most irritating, annoying person. You know I simply couldn't fall asleep tonight. I'll settle with him someday. Please, Mario, talk to the general again. Come back with your whole army and soon, Mario, soon. Throw that man out of the castle, please. I will, Angelina. to say good night. Who was it? Oh, uh, the Colonel. The Colonel? What did he want? Just to say good night. Why should he say good night? I don't know. In the middle of the night, suddenly a man knocks on the door and says good night. What exactly did he say? Good night. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, I don't like it at all. Please, darling, you didn't come here to argue, did you? What made him come upstairs? He's probably going to bed. He's going to bed? Well, yes. Everybody goes to bed sooner or later. Don't tell me he sleeps in my room. Yes, Mario, he does. In my bed? Yes. In my... How do you know? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's sleeping on the floor. I'm going to drag that Hungarian out of my room. I'll break every bone in his body. Shh. I'm going to kill him with my own two hands. I beg your pardon, Countess. We heard a man's voice in here. Oh, you must be mistaken. I'm sorry, Countess. Search the room. Just a moment. What is it, Lieutenant? We distinctly heard a man's voice in here, sir. Is there someone here? No. Was someone here? No. All three of us heard it, sir. 
There are strange echoes in this castle, and it's easy to be mistaken. And anyway, I don't think we should question the Countess's word. That's all. Yes, sir. I'm glad there was nobody here. And I take it for granted that nobody will be here. Naturally. Good night, Countess. Good night, Colonel. Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. I thought I'd forgotten what Shakespeare I knew. I wonder what could have brought it back. Italy, this night in June, the balcony. Or perhaps you, Countess. I'm afraid I'm no Juliet. One has to be very, very young to be so foolish. Well, I might not be young enough to be foolish, but I'm foolish enough. And I'm certainly not too old to climb a balcony. Not this one, Colonel. If you're in a climbing mood, may I recommend that very steep mountain to the left? It's been climbed before. I mean your balcony. And by someone who has no respect for your beautiful roses. Good night, Countess. Good night, Colonel. Eh? Got separated from your caravan. Sounds very plausible. So you're a gypsy? Yes, my coronel. Where were you born? In Wagen. Naturally, you don't know which country. No, I don't know. Of course, gypsies are always traveling from there to here, from here to there. All world home of gypsies. <laughs> yes, my coronel. 
Now, tell me, my wonderful gypsy, are you married? Yes, to wife. Where is wife? Wife in wagon. In wagon with other gypsies? Yes, everything in wagon. It's quite a wagon. <laughs> Play, Gypsy. Not had violin for a long time. Hand a little stiff. Hand very stiff. But Gypsies can always play, stiff or not stiff. Yes, my coronel. <clears throat> <clears throat> I didn't ask you to sing, my friend. No, no, my coronel. Just, just play a few notes. Wonderful. Wonderful. You really are a gypsy. Did my coronel doubt? Oh, forgive me, my friend. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my coronel. You know, I haven't seen a gypsy since I left Budapest. You make me so homesick. What is life without a gypsy? You must stay with me. Oh, but, coronel, I must look for wagons. You stay with me. Yes, my coronel. Thank you, thank you, my coronel. Thank you. From now on, you will be my personal gypsy. When I'm sad, you will play something gay. When I'm gay, you will play something very, very sad. When I'm angry and break the violin over your head, don't worry. You'll get a new violin. Thank you. Thank I heard the music. Someone told me there was a gypsy. Oh, please. Don't apologize. Good morning. Good morning. You looked so lovely in the moonlight last night. I hated to leave. Get out, Gypsy. Uh, would Coronel like me to play other Gypsy songs? Not now. Get out. Uh, maybe Coronel would, uh, would like me to tell uh, a fortune. Out. Please sit down, Countess. I want to tell you something. Something that's so easy to say if one doesn't mean it. And by not saying it, you make it unnecessary for me to protest. Thank you. Oh, but Countess, I... You forget I'm the enemy. And what's worse, a married enemy. Countess, I believe in marriage. I believe in married men and just as much in married women. But I also believe in fate. And I'm sure that you and I, that we are two people destined by a mysterious fate to have dinner together tonight. Shall we say nine o'clock? I'm sure it's written in our hands. Colonel, it's definitely out of the question. Tonight or any other night. Well, let me call the gypsy and have him... Yes, my coronel. Your gypsy always near you. You have good ears, gypsy. But anyhow, come here, my friend. If you see anything about this beautiful lady in my hand, don't be afraid. Speak up. Ah, <laughs> gypsy won't be afraid. Good. Oh, coronel, fine man. Very kind heart. Oh, oh, oh. I see coronel winning battle. And another battle. See, many more battles, and Coronel always winning. Come on, read the civilian part of my life. Oh, yes. Here, private line. Very private. But, oh, it's not good, it's very bad. Bad, eh? Here's dangerous line, saying Coronel should leave castle soon. And here is very little line saying much sooner. I'm sorry, Coronel. That's all right, Gypsy. You're honest, and I'm grateful. Oh, thank you, my coronel. Now, just one little look at the lady's hand. Oh, please, I'd rather not. Now, Countess, I really think you can trust this gypsy. Go on. Oh, yes, yes. 
Ah, I see man in lady's hand. Really? But not coronel. Oh. oh. Please go on. I see husband. Very nice husband. Wonderful husband. Husband love lady, lady love husband. And here I see coronel winning another big battle. Congratulations, coronel. Thank you, my gypsy. Oh, thank you, my coronel. Guard! Yes, sir. Take good care of our friend here. Give him a good meal, anything he wants. And keep your eye on him. I don't want to lose him. Oh, thank you, my coronel. Thank you. Well, Countess, our lifelines seem to go in different directions. I'm afraid they do. And yet, we're going to have dinner together, you and I. You know, this situation reminds me of 1561. I don't understand. Oh, yes, you do. There was a moment when I was completely fooled. But when this gypsy became ecstatic about your husband, something in me rebelled. Something in my pocket that I picked up under your balcony last night. Here, Countess. your husband what duets we could have played together it's too bad you've got to save him you're right we simply must save him you and i it's true neither of us loves him yet we can't have him shot can we colonel there must be a way let him escape letting a disguised enemy officer escape i'd be shot now you're going to lose one of us make up your mind which one will you miss more shall i die for you now there's a tempting idea you're horrible just horrible i'm a beast and you know it Listen, tonight my tent will be right here. Take off your shoes, put on an ermine coat. It's 1561 again. All right, wear your shoes, but you must come. Make history repeat itself. There'll be a buffet with every delicacy you can think of. And in the middle of the table, a long, sharp knife. And if you want to kill me, before dinner or after dinner, it's entirely up to you. If I come, my husband will be free. If I should survive the dessert, I'll take you to that window and you and I will watch your husband climb that very steep mountain to the left. My word of honor. What can I do? I'm defeated. I have to help my husband. I'm at your mercy. Colonel, you've won another battle. Congratulations. What time is it, Luigi? Just a little bit later, sir. Not very much. She won't come, Luigi. If you knew where she is, would you tell me? No, sir. Do you know where she is? No, sir. Any better? Worse. Go to bed, Luigi. Thank you, sir. Wouldn't you rather go upstairs, sir? I can't. I'm expecting someone who's just a little late, that's all. Good night. Good night, sir. Don't look so unhappy, Colonel. It's time you had a little dream. 
It would make you feel so much better. Yes, Colonel. Dream. You'll have your evening yet. I'll give it to you. It'll be nine o'clock all over again, and I will be Angelina. I'll wear her prettiest dress and her prettiest smile. The shadows are gone. This is the moment love has begun. Maybe there's danger, but that might be fun. I used to say if the Right one came my way. I would know it in a moment. This is the moment. You are the tell you, Countess, that I... Angelina. Angelina. Do you realize it's four minutes after nine and you haven't kissed me yet? Angelina. Kiss me! Before you became a colonel, were you by any chance ever a shepherd? A shepherd? I don't remember. I can't remember anything. Oh, Angelina, there are so many things I have to tell you. But time is so precious. Why waste it on words? Angelina, I... Chatter, chatter, chatter. Nothing but chatter. <laughs> oh. I want you to know I'm going to keep my promise. Your husband will not be shot. Nothing will happen to him. Who cares? It doesn't matter. He's just a boy I met when I was nine years old. I don't care whether he gets shot or you get shot or I get slightly wounded. What's the difference? I want champagne. Yes, Countess. And you'd better see to it that it bubbles. Yes, Countess. Do you mind if I propose a toast? Let's drink to what's going to happen next.
kiss me. I loved you from the moment I saw you riding toward the castle. I was mad about you even before I saw you. When I walked into the hall and took one look at that painting. The lady in Ermine, she was a fool. She killed him, and for 300 years she wished she hadn't. But Angelina won't make that mistake. You're going to live. Oh, yes, indeed. You're going to be alive. Hold it! Isn't this wonderful? Yes, Countess. That's all, Horvath. Thank you, Countess. What she'll do to that young Hungarian, Hungarian, Ooh, what she'll do to that poor barbarian, barbarian. She'll daze him, amaze him, she'll drive him simply mad. Salome was milder, he may be wild, but he'll be wild. with me. But I don't dance. I can't. With me, you can do anything. Dance. I can't believe it. I'm dancing. I'm dancing beautifully. I'm the best dancer in the world. Why shouldn't you be? Angelina, something's happening to me. This is nothing, just the beginning. But I want to shout and sing. All right, then sing. Oh, but I can't. I never could. With me, you can. Sing. I'm singing. I'm singing magnificently. With me, anything. This is the moment. This is the time. Why don't we take it and make it sublime? On this red night, we could whisper to the Shadows, the skies grow bright. 
begun. Maybe there's danger, but that might be fun. At last you're here, and your lips are very near, and your eyes are full of kisses. This is the moment. You are the one. I could conquer the whole earth. I could be Alexander the Great in the morning and Caesar in the afternoon. I could pick up the whole world with one hand. But I don't want it. I'd rather have you. Thank you. Kiss me! Thank you! through the roof. Must have danced for miles. Horvath. Yes, sir. Have you ever danced on a table? No, sir. Oh, Horvath. <laughs> you don't know what life is until you dance on a table. Good morning. Morning, morning. Good morning, sir. Horvath. Good morning. Morning, sir. <laughs> Good old Horvath. How are you? Very well, sir. Thank you, sir. That little boy of yours, how is he? You have a picture of him, Horvath? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Isn't he quaint? How many teeth has he got? Four, sir. Four? Four. Oh, is that wonderful? Look. <laughs> yes, sir, sir. <laughs> Colonel. Good morning, darling. I'll get rid of them in just a second.
Well, gentlemen, I think we've covered everything, haven't we? <laughs> Except one matter, sir. Oh, 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 this is such a fine morning. I, I can't imagine anything urgent. <laughs> Dismissed. Good morning, Countess. Good morning, Colonel. I tried to reach the General all night. I wanted to beg for my husband's life, but I was detained by a patrol. Save him, Colonel. I beg of you. Horvath, will you come in a minute, please? Yes, sir. About this gypsy. That's the subject I was trying to bring up, sir. I'm pretty certain that he's an enemy officer. Enemy officer? Oh, Horvath, let's not see a spy in every but corner. sir, I have very strong evidence. We're getting very suspicious these days. But, sir, See that I... they give him a good breakfast and let him go. But... Those are my orders. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Countess. Tell me, Countess, do you dream? Occasionally. Oh, Countess, you missed a great dream last night. Not just a dream that fades in the sunlight and is forgotten. No, this one will stay. Whether it makes me happy or drives me mad, it'll never leave me. When you didn't come last night, everything looked hopeless. But I didn't give up, and I was right, I was rewarded. The clock struck nine all over again. Oh, Countess, you were so charming. So gay, so magnificent, inspiring, so capricious, and cruel, and lovable, like no other woman. You are everything, and you still are, like no other woman, and you don't know it. I don't want to, so please don't tell me, please. Not even a word. Not a syllable. Hold that. Yes, sir. We're leaving this castle immediately. I don't want a minute wasted. Very well, sir. I'll always love you, Angelina. Goodbye, Countess. Goodbye, Colonel. Cheer up, darling. Here I am. Oh. Angelina, I'm back and alive. Oh, oh no handkerchief. <laughs> well, we certainly got rid of him. <laughs> How I fooled him, giving me money, the stupid idiot. Look, he's gone now. Why talk about him? Wouldn't it be better to forget him? Forget? Why? I want to know everything. Everything that happened yesterday. Oh, Mario. Every bit of it. I insist. I have a right. Very well. He found your earring under the balcony. He knew who you were. He... The... Then why did he let me go? Maybe because he was gallant. 
Maybe because he was generous. Maybe I should be grateful to him. Maybe I should write him a letter of thanks. Maybe you should. Did you have anything to do with my good fortune? In a way, yes. Huh? But exactly what did you do? Nothing. What did he do? Nothing. Now, let me recapitulate. I'm still alive. And yet, you did nothing, and he did nothing. Angelina, why am I alive? Well, you see, the Colonel had a dream. A dream? Well, what could he possibly have dreamed about me? No, Mario. It wasn't you he dreamed of. Oh. Look at me. Angelina, look at me. I am looking at you. Exactly what kind of a dream was this? He dreamed that I was magnificent, wonderful, inspiring, like no other woman. Oh. Where did all this happen? In the living room. When? I entered his dream at exactly 9 o'clock last night. When did you leave? I don't know. It seems that time had stopped. Let me recapitulate. A Hungarian has a dream in my living room. <coughs> What's the matter, Teresa? The lady in her, she was smiling. In the morning? Now, Teresa. She was almost laughing. She seemed to be so happy. Well, now, calm down, calm down. We're all happy, especially this morning. Do you realize, my child, that history has repeated itself? That the castle has been saved again, just as in 1561? Only this time, our mistress didn't have to kill that very nice colonel. And I'm glad she didn't. Now, you go back to work. Yes, history has repeated itself. Yes, it has. You see, Mario, the truth can sometimes be so simple that one has to have imagination to appreciate it. When you were pleading for my I life, I never you... forgot, not even for a moment, that I was married. I was taught to believe in marriage, and I still believe in it. A Hungarian saving my life in my own living room. No, no, no! It's your move, sir. I know it. I, you give me time to think. That's not fair. I'm sorry, sir. How's your family? Fine, sir. Oh, you're a little boy. What happened to him? Hmm? Wait, he got smaller. He's, he's, he's tiny. That's a different one. A new one. He's six months old, sir. Must be a very happy man. I am, sir. Whose move is it? Yours. You did that on purpose. I beg your pardon, sir. You know sir. you're a better checker player than I, and you haven't won a single game. Does it bore you to play with me? No, sir. You're always trying to please me. You only tell me what I want to hear. Would you like me to go, sir? I'm sorry, Walter. I'm afraid I'm getting a little irritable these days. I know, sir. You know what? Well, you're not quite yourself, sir. That's nonsense. Never felt better in my life. I don't want to hear such ridiculous talk again. Oh, Val, what's wrong with me? Well, sir, you used to say another war, another love. Now we're in another war, and you still. Well, that's the trouble, sir. I'm amazed. How did you know that? It's not very difficult, sir. Has anyone else noticed? Tell me the truth. Everybody, sir, down to the last soldier. You know, you used to scold them. You used to call them every name under the sun. But underneath, there was a great love for them, and the men knew it. Remember how you used to shout at me? Horvath! And how I would jump. I miss that, sir. There are men who are born to shout, and others who are born to jump. I happen to be a jumper. She was so lovely. Oh, Horvath, she was so lovely. 
Have you ever seen a more lovely woman in your life? Frankly, sir, I think there's nobody quite like my wife. Yes, she is wonderful. But after your wife, second to your wife, wouldn't you say... Well, that... sir, this might strike you like a bolt of lightning. But if I hadn't been married to my Bertha, you would have found in me a deadly rival. Deadly, sir. And instead of playing checkers here tonight, we probably would have been out in the snow dueling. Yes, sir. She is worth risking one's life. Angelina. Shall we play another game of checkers, sir? I'll try my very best to win. Thank you, Oliver. No, not to. And tomorrow, I promise you, everything will be different. I'll tear into the men. And you, my friend, will jump as you've never jumped before. Good night, Oliver. Good night, sir. lovely, wasn't she? Yes, she was, sir. Good night, sir.
didn't believe in dreams. Who? Colonel, I am a bad woman, the worst woman in the world. That's what he said. Who? You'll remember, there was a gypsy who turned out to be my husband. Well, he isn't my husband anymore. He walked out of my castle and out of my life. It's all annulled and over with. Angelina. Will you marry me? I can't believe it yet. You're here. You came out of nowhere in the middle of the night. All by yourself. Yes, all alone. Just myself, my maid, Luigi, and a priest. Priest? Yes, a priest. Father! 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 This man wants to marry me. Angelina! Just a moment. Colonel, darling, what is your name? Yes, Colonel, what's your name? Ladislaus Karoyi Teglash. Ladislaus, Karo Yi, Teglash. How beautiful. What you do?